For this compound, we have HCN. So you look at the group number. So for hydrogen, it's one. For carbon, it's four. For nitrogen, it's five. Um, because, for example, for carbon, carbon is in group four, so therefore it would have four. Nitrogen is in group five, so it, it would have five. Now you add, add those up, and you get ten. Now what you want to do is uh, put carbon in the middle, and then nitrogen and hydrogen surrounding it. Now this is a little bit of trial and error to get, to get the right um, amounts to also have zero formal charge and also have your number of electrons. As you can see, we have both. We have zero formal charge and we have 10 electrons because two, four, six, eight, 10. So this is the correct um, loose structure. And then we can look closer at formal charge, right? So for formal charge, right? Um, for, for example, the hydrogen, um, since we count a dash as one for formal charge, we can do one minus the group number, which is one. So one minus one is equal to zero. Moving on to carbon, we have one, two, three, four. So four minus carbon's group number, which is four. Four minus four is zero. Nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five. Five minus five, because nitrogen's group number is five. Five minus five will be equal to zero. Now moving on to hybridization. Hybridization will be SP for both of these, right? For carbon and for nitrogen because um, it has two domains. Now notice that this is different from formal charge, right? How we count it is different because we have one, two, two domains for carbon. That means that the exponents here, remember that there's the exponents here are one and one. The exponents have to add up to the number of domains. So I got that there's two domains. So this has to add up to that number of domains. And I just said that there's a one and one here. So one plus one is two. And since I have two domains, it will be sp. Same thing over here. We have two domains, so one, two, two domains. And the exponents here will add up to two. One plus one is two, so two domains. So this is also sp. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.